guys, Heather with the Color Cottage in Texas City. Today we're going to be working with our mud paint, vintage furniture paint. And I'm going to show you guys how easy it is to distress a piece of furniture. I've chosen actually a picture frame. And remember, small projects can be just as rewarding as large projects. It also gives you a great opportunity to try the product and to try your hand at using it before tackling a bigger project. So I have a picture frame and it has quite a bit of um, sculptural relief which is going to be perfect for distressing. So I'm going to dip my paintbrush in and just start painting. And what we're doing is a one color technique. Applying one color of our mud paint. So we've painted our picture frame in Manor White, one color application, and we're getting ready to distress. When you're distressing, it's super simple. I'm using 60 grit sandpaper. You can use a sanding block. And I'm rubbing on the areas of high relief, allowing the original finish to show through. If you're working on a piece of furniture, you really need to use a NIOSH approved respirator. It doesn't have anything to do with your mud paint, but the previously painted piece of furniture could have been painted with lead paint, so you want to protect yourself against any lead poisoning. And we're going to allow the areas of high relief to create the visual depth for us. If you don't know where to do your sanding, it's really a personal preference. Again, I'm letting the areas of high relief in here um, catch the sandpaper so that the paint remains in the grooves. If you're working on a piece of furniture, take into consideration the way the piece would have aged over time. So the corners of tables, the edges where it would have gotten bumped into, also um, around knobs and pulls where people would be pulling on it. Those are great places to distress, to give it a really vintage look. I'm going to continue to distress. And we'll be right back in just a minute with the finished product. And now your finished product using a one color distressing technique in our mud paint, Manor White. All you have to do now, pop in your art, you're ready to go. Until next time, happy painting from all of your friends at the Color Cottage.